Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mr. 008 here, and today I have for you a Bloons Tower Defense 6 video covering update 40.0. So I know that I've been away for a little while from making YouTube videos, and I feel like that mainly has to do with a combination between my personal life and more so the fact that I sort of held myself to a certain standard that I felt like I couldn't keep up with. So, I'm not going to focus too much on daily videos at this point. Once I get the hang of weekly videos, then I'll try and do twice a week, then thrice a week, and then maybe go back into daily videos a little while down the line. But I definitely do want to be consistent from here on out. So we have an update, a Christmas update here. Um, so let's take a look. Cast the balloons into oblivion with the new hero, Corvus, the Spirit Walker. Um, just a quick note, this hero was originally scheduled for update 39, but got postponed to update 40. And the sub-paragon was originally um, scheduled for this update, but got postponed and is not out yet so i don't know for sure when it's going to come out hoping it's update 41 but uh, ninja kiwi definitely does want to make sure that everything is working properly the way it should be no bugs no um like excessively strong or excessively weak towers or heroes etc before releasing them um, some new map editor features, we'll go into that in another video. Um, the new expert map, Glacial Trail. Challenge any boss on any map with the new boss challenge feature. That's cool. Um, I actually did not hear about that before today. Um, I did hear of a couple things before today, such as the new map, but the boss challenge feature is news to me. Five new quests, five new achievements, plus new trophy and team items, um, cosmetics and all that. Improvements, balance changes, and all of that. I looked at the balance changes and it doesn't seem like there are as many in this update as there have been historically in most updates. Um, but we'll get into that in our next video probably. Also, Ninja Kiwi did announce that the price of Geraldo which is currently 5,000 monkey money to unlock him, uh, will be increased as of the next update to um, 7,000 monkey money. So um, I'll be right back. I'm just going to cut the video here and disable notifications for the rest of the video. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back. So let's take a look here. Um, so there's a new quest, a new tutorial for Striker Jones. I'll go into that in another video as well. Um, but today's video will be focused on the new hero, Corvus, the Spirit Walker. So let's unlock this guy right here. This book hungers. All right, looks nice. And I am ready to check this hero out. I saw in a preview that he has a spell book, sort of like Geraldo's shop, but he uses either mana or something similar instead of money to cast spells, sort of. So let's see. A guide to the Book of Spirits. Help Corvus harvest the blooms on Dark Path with a little guidance from Patch. And then after this, we'll go into Sandbox and see some more testing involving Corvus. So let's see. Corvus, the Spirit Walker. There is a long history to the spell book through which he channels power to his spirit companion. The spirit targets and attacks blooms anywhere on the map at Corvus's command. Corvus haunts a single bloom at a time in his radius. When the haunted bloom is popped, it explodes, giving an influx of mana to the mana pool based on how many layers the bloom had. Sounds cool. Corvus is best placed where he can see lots of blooms to haunt. He requires a steady stream of mana to keep casting spells, so even though the spirit has full map range, it is a good idea to place Corvus near the front. Sounds good. 
So, let's see what, what we have here. Corvus works well on the front line, weakening nearby blooms to harvest mana and channel powerful energies through his spirit companion. Some spells here. Spear, which gains a slow firing energy spear, um, or the spirit gains that spear um, that arcs off small chain lightnings each time they pierce. Repel, which pushes blooms back whenever they are touched and Nourishment sacrifices all mana and converts it into hero XP. Interesting. So if you have an excess of mana that you don't really have to spend anything on, you can level up Corvus faster using that mana. Sounds nice. So the Spirit at level 2 can hit more Blooms. Level 3, Soul Harvest ability. Harvests nearby Blooms in an instant. Learns Echo and Haste. We'll get to those later. Um, level 4, Spirit does more damage. Learns Soul Barrier and Trample. Level 5, Learns Frostbound, or Aggression, not Aggravation, and Vision. Um, level 6, Increase Damage when Haunted Blooms Explode. Spirit does more damage. Learns Ember. Level 7, Spirit Walk Ability. Corvus can shift to a valid location, different part of the map. Um, sounds nice, sort of like the Dark Knight, almost. Uh, learns Ancestral Might and Malevolence. So, let's see, level 8. Spiritual Balance means the mana pool fills faster when it is nearly empty. Haste gives increased speed and agility. Learns Storm. Level 9. Base damage increased for the Spirit. Extra Moab damage. Frostbound can hit Moab. Soul Barrier can block more blooms from leaking. Level 10, Dark Ritual Ability. Harvests a huge number of blooms near Corvus. Trample does more damage and learns recovery. I'll go through levels 11 to 20 after we play a few rounds just so that I can um, get some more gameplay in this video. Not that I don't like explaining things, but I don't want to have people skipping too far into the video and missing out on certain things. So let's split up from here in regards to what we cover. So we almost leaked there, but I guess this was carefully set up by Ninja Kiwi to where we would barely avoid leaks. While there are a lot of different spells with unique functions, there are really two different types of spells. Corvus explained this last week. Hold on, let me grab my notes. The four spells kept at the top of the spellbook cost mana to cast, but also drain mana over time. You can cast and dismiss these spells as you wish. They are very powerful when active, but consume a lot of mana. The rest of the spells are cast with a one-time mana cost and don't drain mana over time. And they have their own durations before going into cooldown before they can be cast again. Let's see some spells. The Spirit can handle most of this round, but cast Repel, and it will clean up all the blooms. <laughs> so let's see. Right okay. here. We have Hunters. 95 mana right there, and we are getting 20 from these yellow blooms right there. Let's just keep them going here. Wait until they get pretty close, but not all the way. So let's keep going here. Um, I'll cast it now. The Actually, it's not letting me not for some reason. Said, yes. Um, with all that spell casting, it's easier easy to run out of mana. Corp Corvus's level three ability, Soul Harvest, pops blooms in range, replenishing mana in an instant. Use Soul Harvest when there are lots of blooms near Corvus. Maybe try out the Spear spell to help you pass the round. Better get going, Corvus is looking restless. Fly, spirits. So, let's we go ahead free. and see. So, maybe we have to drag it? Yes, we do. Okay, spirit that's why. And we can just drag it to the edge of the screen mm. if we accidentally were to um, drag something to cast it, but we did not actually mean to. The spirit so, obeys. there is the spear with the lightning yes. right there. And it does consume a significant amount of mana, but is pretty strong. Even stronger than, for example, a lightning druid. Um, so let's see. 
At higher levels, Corvus gains access to new spells and learns more about spells he already knows, making them stronger. The spirit companion gets stronger as well. Fly, so let's Lyrus. see here. We are free. There are lots of spells here. Level 9, oh, okay. Um, so let's see. Aggression, spirit is bigger and faster attacking. Malevolence, spirit merges with the spell book and releases an intense bloom popping mist around Corvus. Storm, spirit unleashes an onslaught of energy blades. Repel, there's the force field one. Echo, the spirit splits into two. Commands are sent to each one, or that are sent to each one, or to one, are sent to both. Echo always targets first. Um, let's see. Haste, the spirit movement and turning speed are greatly increased. Trample, stampede of spirits moves down the track, crushing wounds as they pass. Frostbound, spirit freezes wounds that it hits for a short time. Ember, the spirit leaves a fire droplet on the track every few seconds that burns wounds going through them. Ancestral Might, the spirit merges with the spellbook, channeling the hand of the Ancient One to do massive damage. Nourishment, we already went over. Soul Barrier, temporarily use mana in place of lives when blooms get past your defenses. Vision, temporarily lets the spirit see camo blooms and remove camo from anything it hits. Sounds nice. Um, I wonder how Soul Barrier would work in game modes where you only have uh, one life, like in Poppable and Chimps. Let's take a look at the higher levels here and their descriptions. Spiritual Attunement at level 11 means the spirit grows in power as the mana pool fills. Soul Harvest does more damage and extra damage to ceramics. Frostbound gains Permafrost. On level 12, increased damage when haunted balloons explode. Spear does more damage. Repel can push Moabs. Level 13, Ancestral Might does more damage. Learns Overload. Level 14, Spirit does more damage to balloons. Malevolence does more damage and extra damage to ceramics. Um, level 15, Embers Fire drops more often and deals more damage. Nourishment gives more XP per mana. Level 16, Corvus has increased range. Spirit does more damage to Bloons. Um, level 17, Haunted Bloons are weaker and explosions do more damage. Um, Soul Barrier can block more Bloons from leaking. Level 18, Storm's Energy Blades hit Bloons or hit more Bloons and do more damage. Spear does more damage. Level 19, Corvus can haunt Moab class Bloons. Trample does more damage to Bloons. Level 20, the spirit base damage increases and does more Moab damage. Ancestral Might and Overload do more damage as well. So let's keep going and see what spells we need to use here. So mana is expiring right there, but we are now getting some back. So that's because spear was still active. So let's go here. Harvest blooms in an instant. Nearby blooms. Okay. And then we have the shifting, which we can move Corvus a little bit over here, but that's not a good place because we can't put him on the ice cracks. Um, let's see. That's everything I had written down. I remember he mentioned his ability to cast multiple spells at once, but he didn't expand on it. There's a lot more to learn about Corvus. Maybe one day we can learn the whole story. For now, use some cool spells on the coming blooms. Maybe try casting some at the same there time. Is. What is so it? let's keep going and see where we are at. So level 12. Let's use Nourishment yes. right there. And so that barely gave any XP. I'm not sure why. But <sighs> you see we'll have to see secrets. how things go from here. So greens with some zebras in there as well. Um... Let's just keep on going right here. And Corvus can be a good hero to use with certain tower types, I would presume. So let's see how we do now. What if I use Nourishment you with 600 mana? It's a little bit more, but okay. So there are camo wounds there. It's not necessarily what we wanted what to do. Is it? Um, so this hero will take a little bit more getting used to. So, let's go ahead and see right here. Yes. Cast 
vision right there for the camo rainbows. And let's keep Are we going. hunting? You spear right there. And we are looking better now. What is it? So that's still very little <sighs> XP there the for this next level. The spirits um, are okay, not I'm going to exit and go back in because I don't know how to pop purples. What Let's see here. Um, yes, what about repel block of wounds from exiting? So, where is... Okay, that's not what we want. The spirits um, are not satisfied. No. We can use mana instead of lives. Maybe what that's the it? intended ah, solution. You seek these secrets. I'll try trample first, what see what that it? does. Okay, so we do pop the purples with trample. Sounds good. Let's see what else we have. The spear is still active. Let's hit dismiss there and see what else we can do. So we pretty much have full mana now, so I'll activate spear again since we have a lot of mana that we can use. Ceramics are no problem there. Just some yellows here. Let's see what else we have to go up against on this round. A Moab right there. So, how about... Ember? I don't know if that's going to do anything. Not really. But we did pop the Moab anyway. Um, okay, so the Ember part actually moves okay so it's not restricted to one spot okay so there we go we completed this tutorial so let's see what we have here um some powers and all of that let's go ahead and see what we have here life experience we completed that achievement got a blue jitsu master for that and win a hundred different community submissions. Didn't realize I already did that, but that is cool. So let's see what we have here. So new dart just dropped. Scoop narrates a tale about two dartling gunners with a goal. Um, we have the birthday party one, the Striker Jones tutorial, fast upgrades. This is something I would like to try. Survive six special rounds on dark path. Um, then we have something else new. Intense bloom rounds. 30 rounds of concentrated bloom attack. Let's see. So this is on, let's see, on downstream. But there's no special track, per se. Build your defenses and survive the crucible of intense bloom rounds with a bad on round 30. Pick your hero before jumping in. High-level monkey knowledge is recommended. I would definitely like to try that in a future video, and I will be putting out some more videos in the near future. So, I am going to call it for this video because I have some other things that I would like to think about before I go further on this, like, covering this update, such as, like, what I want to cover when, because... I want to put out a lot of videos on this update, including about the new hero, the new quests, experiments, all that stuff. Because um, I really like that Ninja Kiwi did bring back two challenges from BTD5 um, for BTD6, so I definitely like that. Um, and I, have, I definitely want to um, make a uh, balance changes video. Um, as well, patch notes and all of that to cover that, and that will be coming out in the near future. I'm not sure just when yet, because there was a lot of content I want to make for this update. Um, but yeah, that is going to wrap up today's video, you guys. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more interesting content. 
and I'll talk to you all again in the next video. Peace out.